Yeah, well, Steve, this is really creating some challenges for them. It obviously comes at a busy time. Everybody registering to vote ahead of the presidential election. They are now in the process of training those poll workers, not to mention getting those ballots uh, ready across Wake County. Now with this decision, decision, they now have to start all over. After a back and forth, the 11th hour decision means your ballot will no longer include RFK Jr. It all comes after Kennedy suspended his campaign to endorse former President Donald Trump. Today, making it clear he wants his supporters to follow suit. No matter what state you live in, you should be voting for Donald Trump. Staying on the ballot could have made him a potential spoiler, and it's why some Democrats believe the court's ruling was political. This is an attempt to influence the election for Donald Trump, and the North Carolina Supreme Court, with their Republican MAGA you know, majority, is putting their fingers on the scale for Donald Trump. It's absolutely appalling. Republicans, meanwhile, argue Democrats changed their position once RFK supported Trump. But the Democrats were trying to interfere in the electoral process the entire time. First, they were suing to keep RFK off the ballot. Then they wanted to keep him on the ballot based on the state, depending on how it would help or hurt Kamala Harris. But beyond the politics, the last minute decision means that all 100 counties across the state now have to start over and taxpayers have to foot the bill. So if you think about all of those things that have to go in to a tight, compressed timeline, um, we started months in advance preparing for that. So then to have to switch gears and literally start from scratch. In Wake County alone, they had to set aside 20,000 already printed absentee ballots into storage. And now they have to recode and reprint ballots for everyone. And that quick turnaround also means vendors and printing will cost more. We uh, are anticipating anywhere between that 150,000 to 200,000 um, when we actually find out you know that percentage increase of how much it's going to cost to actually reprint and of course we're going to have to scale up we're going to have to bring in more people for now they're working to put together these information packets until they can get the new ballots in next week but it's a race against time and so we'll be working around the clock to get it done yeah, and counties across the state are going to be doing the exact same thing. Now, even though each county has to pay for this themselves, it is still the state that sets the new date for when those ballots would be sent out. So far, no date has been set, but there is a federal deadline of September 21st that is coming up. That is when uh, there's a federal deadline for those in the military to get their ballots sent out. So the goal is to try and have this all done by then. But again, no date has been just uh, set just yet. I did ask the head of Wake County's Elections Division, could they make that September 21st deadline? They say it is possible, but it is definitely going to be cutting it close. Reporting live in Raleigh tonight, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.